Position allows you to move things around and reposition elements inside of the document exactly where you want them. It gives you very fine grain granular control of where you position these elements. So in this video, we're going to take a look and see exactly what we need to know for position and how position works. So position actually has five separate values, but only four of them we actually care about. The one we don't care about is actually going to be position static. Now position static is actually going to be the default for all HTML elements. And the reason that we don't care about it is because it doesn't give us any control whatsoever of the position of the elements. It doesn't allow us to use the top, bottom, left, and right to position the elements where we want them. So it's essentially just an off switch for the position. So top, bottom, left, and right are actually going to be the way that we position our elements inside of the document. And the way that they work is like an offset. So it's going to push the inside Inside box away from the edge of the outside box that we're specifying so the top the right the bottom or the left of the outside box it's going to push the inside box away from that edge and we'll actually see a little bit of how this works here in a bit but for now let's get into our first position value the position relative so position relative is actually very similar to position static, but it allows us to use the top, bottom, left, and right values. So I could add the position relative to this parent element, and I could use the top value and push it away, let's say 15 pixels from the top. And if I save that, you'll notice that it pushes that outer box, the parent box, away 15 pixels from where it's previously was positioned. And I could do the same with the left value. And I could push that, let's say, 100 pixels away from the left side of the box. And this is now 100 pixels from the previous position of this outside box. But there is actually one more thing that position relative is actually useful for. And that's gonna be for containing other positioned items. So the way that this position containment actually works is whenever you define an element that has a position on it, it's going to look for its closest relatively positioned ancestor. And in this case, whenever I define any position on this child here, as long as position relative is defined on its parent element, it's going to use that as its closest positioned ancestor. And that way it'll be contained inside of this box here. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and remove this top and left values, but I'm going to keep the position relative value. And we can move on to our next position value of position absolute. Now position absolute is actually going to rip the element out of the normal document flow. So it will no longer react to other elements changing inside of the document. And that element will no longer move no matter what happens inside of the document flow. Now to see this a little bit more clearly, I've actually just added a few filler boxes and these filler boxes are just display flex and they are wrapping with a little bit of gap in between each one of them. So if I add a position of absolute onto here, you're actually going to notice a small change over here. And that is that one of these orange boxes has seemingly disappeared. And the reason for that is because everything has shifted up by one because this green box is now no longer in the document flow. And we can actually see that by moving that green box a little bit. So we'll add a top of 15 pixels to that and a left of let's say 50 pixels. And now that this absolutely positioned element has been moved, you can actually see that the orange box is actually there. It's just shifted underneath of that green box. And that's simply just because this green element here has actually been removed from the document flow. So it no longer flows with other elements inside of the document flow. And this is something you would normally use absolutely positioned elements for is laying one element on top of another. And now let's take a look at another position value, the position fixed. And to see position fixed, we're actually just going to use the HTML element. And I've added a width of 100%. So this is spanning 100% of the browser's width. And I've added a height to the HTML element so that we have scrolling so that we can scroll down to actually see this. So position fixed is actually going to fix the position of the element so that we can still see it no matter where we scroll on the document. So if I add a position of fixed to this element here and I save that, 
I can start scrolling down and you're going to notice that it's not going to go anywhere. It's going to stay fixed in that one position relative to the viewport. And we could actually reposition this if we want. So if we wanted to add it to the bottom, all we'd have to do is say bottom and then say however many pixels we want away from the bottom. So if I wanted it to sit about 10 pixels away from the bottom, I would just say 10 pixels of bottom. And you can see now that it's actually fixed to the bottom and it's actually 10 pixels away from the bottom of the HTML element. And I could scroll all the way up and I could scroll all the way down and this is going to stay in its position here at the bottom. Now position fixed is actually going to work very similar to position absolute where it's actually going to be removed from the normal document flow and it's not going to react to changing elements inside of the document. Now our final position value is actually going to be position sticky and position sticky works kind of like a hybrid between relative and fixed position and the way that position sticky works is that you're going to create a threshold using one of the top bottom left or right values and once it hits that threshold then it's going to work as a position fixed element but until it reaches that threshold it's going to work as a position relative element. So if we add a position of sticky to this green box here, if we save that, you're not going to see anything change. And that's because we haven't added that threshold yet. So right now it's working just as a regular position relative value. So as soon as we add that threshold though, so I'm going to say the threshold is going to be once we scroll past a top of one pixel. So once we scroll past a top of one pixel, it's going to work as a position fixed and it's going to stay fixed to the very top of this box here. So once we scroll past this threshold, it's going to stick to that position relative to the nearest scrolling ancestor. And in that case, it's going to be this parent element here. And that is position. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments down below. I'll answer any questions that you have. If you did like the video, make sure you slap a like on it. Check out the full playlist. Link is right next to me. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you in the next one.